Welcome back Pokefans to the Pokemon Azure playthrough. So last episode we tried to do a side quest around a book which we needed to get off an old man who for some reason decided that he wanted to throw hands and he whooped our ass. So we're going to go back into that side quest later on. But then we found a cave. No, we yeah we found a hole in the cave which led to this underground ruin thing which we have no idea what it is but the Doctrine members are here so we teamed up with Percy, took down a load of them and we also met Minerva who is obviously the key holder she's asked us to help her here so we're going to finish off what's here we also met a guy called Pride who apparently knows us but I have no idea who he is Percy also knows him so we've got to chase him down but it looks like there's quite a bit to explore here so let's get started so where should we go first we'll go up this one. Oh, we've got a super potion and that just leads back down there although that could be an item in that little corner there oh we don't have Percy to heal us no more either no it's not an item okay um, can you cut this oh no we've got big root So where do we need to go? What? You can walk up that. I just meant to click on it. Okay, so there's some ladders there. Oh, we've got a great ball. And an applin just chilling in the corner over here. Got a green shard. Do we want an applin? I mean, it's a dragon type, but nah. Not that much of a fan of it. And that's one of them one time use ones. Oh, I've got an energy powder. And we've got the TM for secret power. And we could teach that to Nuzleaf. Although, Nuzleaf's not really a special attacker, is it? I don't think. No, it's more of a physical attacker. So let's head on down here. Now, who are you? You don't look like you with the doctrine. Astute observation. I'm just waiting here for a friend, that's all. Ah, and speak of the devil, there they are. Pokeax, you know her? Well, I doubt they remember me, but I certainly know them. You can call me Lux. So Lux, you're from that small island Pokeax and Kara escaped from? Ha, huh, no, it was actually rather cumbersome to find Pokeax while they lived on that cursed island. That said, do you have the time to dawdle? I believe Pride has found what he was looking for. Shit, you're right, we need to hurry. Could you step aside? Ah, uh, I'm not letting you through that easy. I want to challenge Pokeax to a battle, for old time's sake. What? What's your deal? Are you really in a position to complain? Make this fast, Pokeax. Surprise me. Okay, who the hell's Lux? Mysterious figure. They've got a shiny Combuscan. Although, is this the mystic form? Oh, no, Incinerate shredded us. Oh, to Zorua? Okay. Um, right, we'll have to sack off Wubat, unfortunately. Use that turn to heal back up um, Nuzleaf. And then Clubber Push, you can come out and just chop it in half. The Incinerate still does quite a bit of damage. Takes up to level 17. Now comes Kabuskin. So let's go for a Karate Chop. Flame Charge. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, we'll go Grove off. Aren't you rock type there? Yeah. That does decent damage though. Okay, we lived. And then we've got one more super potion, which we're going to have to use.
and then we can take her out of another fairy wind. If we would have got crit then I would have been so mad. And a Braxian. Oh my god, this is a hard team. Okay, let's use a potion. See what you can hit us with. Incinerate. Yeah, you kind of do more damage than we can. Let's go for a fairy wind. And you've set up dual screens. Doesn't do much damage at all. I mean, we could paralyze your spurs. Go for a nuzzle. Or we'll just get shredded. Oh my god, we're in trouble. I'm gonna have to do some grinding, then, I? Mm. Incinerate's gonna shred us. Rollout's not going to do enough. Yeah, we're going to have to come back and redo that. Okay, so let's try this again. So we know that that is a Zorua, so let's go for a Fairy Wind. And that just goes down in one hit. Out comes Braxen. So we will go to. Mm, should we just stay in? Go for a Gust. Because we do actually outspeed it. Quick attack. Gust again. It does alright damage. I don't appreciate being crit though. Um, we'll use a potion. Right, your light screen's gone, so Gust will now KO. Out comes Sneasel. It's gonna go for a um, Ice Shard, so we'll go Clobopus. Oh no, don't. Okay, Karate Chop. Out comes Combuskin. We can go into Noibat. And then just Gust. That's got Rock too. Of course it has. Okay, we need to slow this down. Go to Yampa, Nozzle. Um, oh, it's immobilized by love. No, oh, it still connects the. That hasn't really slowed it down. What can we go into? Um, Monferno. Matt Punch Hamster is this too? Not enough. Go for Leah. Okay, Matt Punch is doing a lot more now. And um, we should take it out. Oh my god, that was annoyingly hard. And then Sneasel, Matt Punch should take this in one. Oh man, that was a tough battle. How fascinating. I suppose I have to step aside now, don't I? Good luck, you two. Did she just disappear? Whatever, I don't have time to think about how the hell she did that. Let's go start Pride Pokéx. Um, oh yes, there's a heal station. Thank you. God, I've got a green shard. It's probably best to just lead off for our strongest Pokemon. Oh, let's not go that way yet. There's got to be something here. An elemental seed, what's that? Single use seed that boosts its holder in elemental fields. Hmm. 
We've got Dome Fossil. A Revival Herb, that's pretty good. And a Meadow Plate. Okay, so all that's left to do is go up here. Let's just quickly save. Do you two know what this is? Um, it kind of looks like a Tangrowth. Looks like a statue of a Tangrowth. I'm assuming there's something special about it, unless you came here just to admire it. These statues are known as Temple Guardians. They're 18 scattered throughout Zakos. What I'm here for in the statue though, but what it's holding. What is that? It's humming. You can feel the energy it's releasing, right? That's how a forest this big is able to grow underground. Pretty damn cool, ain't it? What could you possibly be planning on doing with that? Looks like you'll just have to wait and see. Like we're just going to let you get ready, Pokex. Let me guess what's about to happen. Y'all are going to try and stop me even though neither of you know what we're really planning. And then I'll beat the living hell out of y'all in the battle. I don't like fighting it at all, and I certainly don't want to fight you, but it's looking like we don't have a choice here. Fair point, kid. I wasn't planning on letting you kids go anyways, fight or no fight. Can't wait to wipe you all off the bottom of my boots. Okay, we're heading into a battle. He looks cool as hell though, doesn't he? Okay. So I don't think Grovile's the best. So let's ember the Honage. Gets rid of that in one hit. This is already easier than the last battle. Oh, that thing's got Moxie. Okay, we'll map punch the Litleo just to get rid of it. Oh my god, that thing just shredded us. Okay, we'll go Yampa. It's level 18 as well. And one nuzzle. Solosis got shredded. Hey, you got Porygon? Okay, we'll just nuzzle Servine as well. And then we'll start getting some tail whips off. No, we can't do it to um. Ed Edgar, what a name. Let's start muzzling Edgar then. Is that we doing any damage there? Is that all of his put oh my god, we we're in trouble. We're in like serious trouble. Um, we'll go neither. Something has an Eevee like. That did no damage whatsoever. Okay, well, let's go into Grovar. Gust Servine. Out comes print block. Um, what do we do? What do we do? Let's go for a fairy wind on print block. Oh well, at least that's boosted. We know it's going to go for an icy wind. To be fair, Nuzli is probably the most expendable. And then we'll come back out and KO it. So what started off as an easy battle has turned insanely hard. To the point where like I don't think we're actually gonna be able to do it. Yep, 
more grinding it looks like. Okay, this is the run. You don't understand how many times I've actually attempted this. That Corey Squire holding Eevee Light is just ridiculously annoying. And they always just seem to target Percy's side. So you just end up with like 2v1 and his Corvus Choir is just ridiculous. Okay, we can switch here and go Clobopus. And Karate Chop. Should take this out. Yeah. Oh my god, that was insanely hard. You can't even grind either because the Pokemon Wild are like giving nothing. How'd, how'd I lose? Not as confident as you were before, Pride. Y'all got some insane luck, but today's just not my day. Even with you two cheating by teaming up, I should have been able to floor y'all. Well, I was told not to use brute force, but who gives a damn? We're done here. Edgar, let's head out. What has he just done? Could have done that at the beginning, why didn't he? Don't think the temple has like some sort of defense system, right? Uh oh. Shit, I shouldn't have said anything. Pokex, hold off the Tangrowth while I deal with the little ones. Ah, oh, look at it. Okay, flame wheel. That broke its shield. Oh, we got a burn as well. That's good. The confusion is not great there. Let's switch to Grove Oil. Let's go for a gust. Got ancient power. Oh, it broke the shield. How is this thing quicker than us? And can it not take. Oh, it got an omni boost. Oh, this is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. Flame wheel. Oh, what is with this game, man? just gonna one shot all of our team now. Like how are you supposed to beat something like this? Like there's just no chance in hell. Just one shots everything. Right we're definitely gonna have to try this again. Maybe somehow try and... Oh, oh, oh. No, no. We'll have to try it again. Okay, this is all down to you, Monferno. Hit with a flame wheel. Oh my god, we've done it. Oh, that was ridiculous. Like, it just one-shots everything with that move. What was that? He took that thing from the Tangrowth and it just started attacking us. We should probably tell Minerva what happened and then try to figure out what the hell's going on. I'll head down, Pokéx. Impressive. And hello again, Pokéx. Before you ask, yes, I was watching this whole ordeal, and no, I had no desire to assist you two. That said, if you two truly knew what they were planning, you would have tried harder to stop Pride from getting the true meadow plate. Although that's a bit unfair. After all, there's no way you could have known was there. The doctrine is an evil pokeaxe, no one truly is. Their current god is a consequence of a single person's selfish actions. 
and if there is any fairness in this world it will correct itself and none of us will have to worry any longer. Perhaps once you learn the truth to everything. Ask Minerva about the drowned city, you'll get some of the answers you seek. Farewell Pokeax. Oh my god. Right, I just can't deal with it. This game is not easy in the slightest. So where was that Absol then? Right, well we need to fully heal. And head on down, speak to Minerva, see what she wants. Percy was just telling me what happened. I'm not sure what the Tangrove could have been holding, nor why it would trigger the statue to suddenly animate. To be entirely fair though, I wasn't aware that this temple existed at all until a few hours ago. It appears I'll have to investigate this temple in the forest more. What could the doctrine possibly be planning? I'll look into it, I do have quite a bit of scholarly resources at my disposal. Look showed up again. What's her deal? There's no way you and her are old friends. You and Kara were stuck on the island, right? Kara complained to no end about it. That aside, the drowned city. I did promise a battle for helping me out, didn't I? I'll pass. Battling isn't my thing. Well, when you're ready, Pokéx, meet me in the library. I hold all my battles there. Once you have my key, we'll talk about what this looks said. Some things are starting to fall into place. Good luck, Pokéx. I'll meet up with you once you finish your battle. Do you want to head to town together? Absolutely. And we're going to end the episode there, like, I don't think the video is going to be that long when it comes to actually editing it, but, like, the amount of times I attempted them battles and just tried to figure out a strategy till I could actually do it. To be fair, sometimes it comes down to luck, especially with that Corvus Squire. Like, the fact that I had to paralyse it and then hope it to get paralysed when I'd done enough damage so it didn't roost so I could take it out was just ridiculous and then obviously Tangrowth it seemed like it did more damage when it was confused because when it wasn't confused it weren't, do, it weren't hitting me as hard so I don't know whether that's like an added effect of it being whatever it was but yeah next episode we will go and take on Minerva at the library Thank you everyone for watching and hope to see you all next time.